smaller any software based application uh, because it's a box which is uh, let's say based on the computer. Oh. Thank you. And uh, so we can do, for example, the music radio stations over internet. We have an internet radio. That's what you can buy separately today, but here it's just included. You have, of course, like uh, you have video on demand, you have also music on demand, and uh, then you can use any software application which are on our server, like what you know as Word and Excel. You just have it from uh, other uh, <coughs> another company because uh, otherwise we have to pay for Microsoft the licenses. But there are other programs on the market which are exactly doing the same thing. And also the box is line and space. But you will see later you will you won't see a difference uh, regarding the internet. In other words, you've got word on your television set through the box. You can do your documents right there on the big screen, get it done, save them on some of the files you can do. Always built into this already. Okay, already you just sit there and do it. So you can watch the internet, watch TV, do this all at the same time. And make a phone call if you want. Okay. There are a lot of more application possible. And of course you have internet access, internet access with the, the open browser Firefox, which is quite common now. Yeah. A lot of people use it because they don't like only the Internet Explorer. And then of course we have games, family entertainment, which uh, is all based on the internet usually. But, uh, so that's the last page regarding the possibilities. But it's uh, probably in the future not the last page because there might be a lot of possibilities more. But uh, what we are already doing now is that we uh, sold some uh, of these participations of, of, this, uh, I of the idea and also of the relevant hardware to some close communities. For example, the soccer club in Hamburg. They bought it for about 200,000. It's not a big thing, but it's, it's uh, an interesting deal uh, regarding the idea, because this is exactly one of the things what we can have a thousand times in Germany, for a thousand different clubs, for example. Uh, for example, I think in England, that's quite interesting, the horse racing with online betting possibility. It's already on the market with other systems, older systems, more complicated, not so cheap, I think. And uh, so what I said already, anything that uh, is possible with software, because this is software-based. I think Richard mentioned it already, the software is not in the box. So you can steal, anybody could steal the box, could uh, look inside, could do whatever he wants to do. He will not find our system, our, <coughs> our idea, because this is on our server. And uh, I think this is quite important on this market because uh, especially the Asian countries, they are not so, uh, let's say, sensitive, exactly. Thank you. It also means when you need to upgrade it, it's being upgraded while we're in here right now. If there's been any change in any of the software, if something new is added to it, it's upgraded, it's being done automatically from the server <coughs> to you. So you don't have to go out and pay for something else. It's automatically being upgraded at all times whenever there's an upgrade. And they steal the box. They don't steal anything from you but the box. In other words, they don't get. You also cannot copy movies from the box. It's got a built-in block to do that. That's why they allow us to have the movie. No, it's like a mobile which has no connection. <laughs> okay. So that's what we wrote here and, and told already. And that's also uh, part of that what we said already because it's automatically updated all the time. So you don't need to download like you usually do in your computer, on your laptop for example. You need to update this, uh, um, the printer drivers or whatever. So this will be always updated in the past. And uh, what is very important is the third party intellectual property protection because um, to do the business video on demand properly, you need a digital right management because the provider, the people who have the rights, 
but Richard also said with his company with 10,000 movies, they want that you see them, that you pay for seeing them, but they don't want that you make a download, make a copy and give it to your neighbor or maybe sell it even by any other maybe, uh, possibility. They want just that you look at it. And so it shall not be based on another media, like a DVD or like a hard disk. And that's what we can, let's say, prohibit, but it's not possible because the, we have the possibility by software to prohibit any usage of any USB, which is installed, of course, for other purposes. Because when you need a printer, when you want to have other applications, you need it. You want to download, upload things, and you need an external memory. But for this case, that you want to watch movies, for the digital right management, it needs to be protected. And that's very, uh, let's say, important, because otherwise you will not get the movies from the company. They won't give it to you. They say, well, when it's possible to copy them, <coughs> we don't allow it. Really. And uh, this is one of the points in Germany especially. There are streaming boxes which cannot do that. And they have a problem. They are useless. You know, and our box is intelligent and externally from the software what we uh, what, what <coughs> interconnected. Um, uh, let's say it's, um, it's based on this connection on the software, it's not based on any intelligence of the box. But the box can handle all information. We will see that later. So let me see what we have. Yeah, winning money is one of the main issues, like with the TV station, of course. And uh, so, of course, we have several approaches. One is, of course, the selling of the D box. <coughs> Personally, for me, it's not the main thing, because selling of a D-Box gives you one time revenue, which may be not that bad, but it's limited. Once you sold it, you win like 50 euro or whatever, 50 dollars, but, uh, or maybe 50 pounds, I don't know. <laughs> it could be a price in England, but um, that's only one thing. The other more important and more interesting idea is to have the monthly charges. And uh, we wrote here the basic charges, but it's not only the basic charges, because you can have a lot more um, revenue. Because when somebody enters the internet by your box, he's running onto a portal on a, on a how do you say, on a screen, and you can guide them from there. And the companies will pay a lot of money when they are on the first screen already. We have a little bit of experience with boxes because about what Richard said about seven years ago, uh, this software for the whole system was already started, developed, and it wasn't that cheap. It was about 250 million and a few hundred people working on that, and we got all the rights out of these developments. And a short time later, about 40,000 boxes were brought into the market. Very easily, we can now, still today, by selling the boxes, we can easily bring 5,000 boxes a month on the market. The only thing is, of course, what Richard also said, financing. Yeah. But that's uh, another story. But <coughs> when you think about it, monthly basic charges for one box, like just 10 euros, give an example. Yeah. 